everybody! I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing some more math practice. So I've been getting a lot of requests, like, can you do some more math videos? Can we do some more sample problems? And I thought, sure, why not? Let's do that. So for these ones, though, since you've probably already watched the first one, what I want you to do is read the question, pause the video, try to work it out yourself, and then press play and watch how I work it out and then compare my answer to your answer, okay? That's what I want you to do for these videos. So let's start with the first one. The nurse is going to give digoxin 125 micrograms PO daily. Available is digoxin PO 0.25 milligram tablets. So how many tablets should the nurse administer? So the first thing, we're looking for tablets, right? So that's going to be our answer. And if it's going to be in our answer, it needs to be in our numerator. And where do we see it in the problem? We see it right here. So this is telling us one tablet is the same as 0 0.25 milligrams. Now we need to do a conversion, right? Because this is milligrams and this is micrograms. So we're going to add our conversion right here. So we'll put milligrams on the top so that they'll be able to cancel later on. One milligram is the same as 1,000 micrograms. And then what do we want to give? 125 micrograms over one. So our milligrams will cancel, our micrograms will cancel, that'll leave us only with tablets, which is what we wanted in our answer. Punch it into your calculator, do the math, and you get 0 0.5, so half a tablet. So that's how much we're going to get, is half a tablet. Did you get it right? Let's do another one, let's see. Now let's do another one. The nurse is to give aspirin 650 milligrams PLQ12, so every 12 hours. Available is aspirin 325 milligram tablets, PO. How many tablets should the nurse administer? So I'll give you a sec to pause it. And we're back, let's figure it out. So we're looking for tablets. So tablets here in our answer. And if it's in our answer, right? It has to go in our numerator. Where do we see it here in the problem? Here. So this is telling us one tablet is the same as 325 milligrams. And we want to give 650 milligrams. So 650 over 1. And then our milligrams will cancel, which will leave us with just tablets. And you do the math and you get Two. So how many tablets should the nurse administer? We're going to give two. Okay, let's do another one. The nurse is caring for a patient who is prescribed medication A, two grams PO daily in four divided doses. Available is medication A, 250 milligram capsules. How many capsules should the nurse administer per dose? So pause it. Okay, now we're back, let's do it. So we're looking for capsules per dose. So we wanna have capsules here in our answer. And if it's in our answer, of course, it's gotta go in our numerator. So where do we see capsules in our problem? Right here. So one capsule is 250 milligrams. Now, we need to convert because we have available to us grams. So we need a conversion factor. So milligrams on top, that way that'll cancel, grams on the bottom. So one gram is 1,000 milligrams. And then we want to give two grams. So our milligrams will cancel. Our grams will cancel. We'll end up with just capsules. Punch it in, do the math, and you get eight. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of capsules to give to somebody. So this is how much they're getting total per day. Okay, so eight capsules in a day. So now we need to do the rest of the problem. The rest of the problem is asking, how much should the nurse administer per dose? So how many doses? 
four divided doses. So every six hours they're getting this. So we need to divide this by four. So eight divided by four is two. So they're getting two capsules per dose. So each time they get this medication every six hours, they're gonna receive two capsules, which all day they'll receive eight total capsules. Let's do one more. Okay, one final problem. The nurse is going to administer medication B, 900 milligrams PO once daily. The amount available is medication B, 300 milligram capsules. How many capsules should the nurse administer? So we'll take a second pause. And we're back, let's figure it out. So we want to know capsules. So just like always, if it's going to be in our answer, it needs to be in our numerator. Where do we see it here in the problem? Here. So one capsule is 300 milligrams. And we want to give 900 milligrams. So we'll put 900 milligrams over one. The milligrams will cancel. We'll have capsules left. Do the math and you get three. So how many capsules should the nurse administer? Three. So that was my video explaining even more uh, practice for beginners dimensional analysis problems. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.